Hi everybody, I'm Lindsay Ferrier with Cafe Mom and I am joined right now by Tawana Smith. She's a mom to two boys and she's a world traveler. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. So tell me how all of this traveling began. Well, um, it began because of the space that I was in. I really wanted to go continue traveling. I did a lot of traveling before I got married, before I had children. And it was something that was a passion of mine and that I did not want to stop you know, stop doing. And so having kids, I said, well, let's figure out how to do this with kids because it, it's, you have to be a little bit more strategic. And um, I started writing about my experiences and then online publication, you know, courted me. I started writing for them and then developed my blog and really, you know, took from there. How has all of the world travel uh, affected your view of the United States? You know, when you travel outside the United States, um, just as an African-American woman, you know, you get to see a different perspective of how people in other countries view you versus how you're viewed in the United States. And, you know, there's certain um, prejudices that you might not face overseas that you might face here in the United States. What in, what in particular? In other countries, there you are the nationality more so than the ethnicity. Take Jamaica, for instance. There are so many different national, so many different ethnicities in Jamaica. You have um, Asians, you have um, Caucasians, you have Africans, you have Indians. They call themselves Jamaicans. You know, they they honor their country first before they really start looking at ethnicity. So that's a little different to kind of see that versus you know in the United States where there's this preoccupation with race more so than hey we're all Americans. That's one of the things that's, you know, been interesting to me. You just took your boys to the White House. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like for them? I mean, are they big fans of President Obama? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's important for them because, you know, and they're, they're lucky because they're young and they got an opportunity to see an African-American president. So they don't really know, like, I don't think that they really appreciate the importance and the significance of that. But for them to actually, and we went this month, which is African American, you know, Black History Month, so the White House had, you know, all these different pictures that were there, just, you know, all the different, you know, the history um, of African Americans here. And my son got an opportunity to see that and, and walk through, and, you know, it was a Friday, so they had um, a black choir there singing. and. I think that he was really blown away, and I think that it was a, a very memorable impression on him. So I was happy to be able to, to experience it with him. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So with this election coming up in November, what, what issues do you think that the candidates need to focus on to um, appeal to African-American families in particular? Definitely jobs. Definitely jobs. Um, but I, I really, I think that that's just, I think that's a national issue. I don't. What's important yeah. to you as a mom? As a mom, me specifically, um, health care is important. My youngest son has autism, so you know I need to know that he's going to be covered, that those visits are going to be covered for him now because early childhood is important. And if you don't pay for it now, you're going to have to pay for it later. Do you feel like politicians in Washington are listening to moms? I think that the mom's voice is becoming stronger. Um, I think that we need to do more outreach. I think politicians need to do more outreach. The White House needs to do more outreach with moms so that, so that the voice is actually being revered a little bit more with some politicians. You have some great things to say. Tawana, thank you for joining us and giving us your opinions. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.